Wednesday, Tigers. It's December 1st, and I'm Angie bringing you latest information about FFA Holiday Club. And I'm Anthony with information about the Wyrick Scholarship Fund, Asian American Pacific Islander Club, and more. And I'm Kalanir. Tis the season, am I right? Here's the news announcements <laughs> you need to know. And now a message from ASB. Tigers, the blood drive is next Friday, December 10th, and we need you. Every donor gets a free t-shirt and community service hours. You must be at least 16 years old and weigh at least 110 pounds. Blood is essential to help patients survive surgeries, cancer treatment, chronic illnesses, and traumatic injuries. The need for blood is constant and this life-saving care starts with one person and making a generous donation. Everyone needs to sign up here. And all 16-year-olds also need to fill out this form. Thank you for joining us and saving lives. Applications for the Richard J. Wyrick Leadership Scholarship are due Monday, December 6th at midnight. This application requires both transcripts and letter of recommendation. The application is not a night before activity. So high will be guaranteed at least one winner, and last year we received two. Check it out now so you can get those transcripts and letters by Friday. Miss Martin of the College Career Office will be presenting the Senior Scholarship Workshop this Friday, December 3rd, during fourth period. You must sign up beforehand to attend. Please email Miss Martin at cmartin slcusd.org or drop by the College and Career Office to sign up and get a slip. The Asian, Asian American Pacific Islander Club meeting this Wednesday at lunch in P5 to play games and provide updates on future fundraising projects. Stop by and join the fun and learn how to play Korean Jacks and other games. Also, Reach Club is having their annual post-it note wall and here's a short video on it. Reach Club is having a traveling board that will feature positive sticky notes. When you see it, take one if you need it and admire the beauty of the board. It will be traveling for seven days during the first two weeks of trimester two. Make sure to grab one. Thanks. Do you want to learn about fair trade? Did you know that there's a way to lessen your impact on the environment when you buy clothing and other items? Stop by Environmental Club today to hear from our guest speaker, Miss Weist to learn more. And now to Cal with Tiger Sports. What's Papa Tigers? It's your boy Cal here with Tiger Sports. Today in Tiger Sports, we just have boys basketball traveling to Bakersfield to face Liberty. Don't go hoopy. Also, this Friday, girls soccer is heading to Buchanan High School in Clovis for their first tournament. Let's wish them luck on their upcoming games. Now back to Angie and Anthony with lunch and more. Thanks, Cal. Today for lunch, we have chicken cheese and rice burrito, black bean and veggie fajitas, turkey pesto chibata, and a local cheese box. Cal. On this day in U.S. history, in 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white passenger in violation of the segregation laws. This sparked the 381-day bus boycott, which was led by Martin Luther King Jr. 